सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू सेशन सो इन द लास्ट क्लासेस वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद द मॉड्यूल थ्री एंड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड फ्यू कॉन्सेप्ट राइट या सो अगेन द सेम थिंग वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद फ्यू प्रॉब्लम्स नाउ ओके देर आर टू इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम्स इन दिस सेशन विच वी आर गोइंग टू कवर सो हियर इज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन हियर A unity feedback system has uh, the value of g of s is given here. That is 40 into s plus 2 divided by s into s plus 1 into s plus 4. Okay, uh, we need to determine the type of system. So, so this g of s uh, here it is mentioned it as unity feedback system, right? So we can say that our value of h of s is equal to 1. So that's why here we have mentioned only the term g of s. Okay, it is actually g of s into uh, h of s. Okay. This is the or transfer function here, g of s into h of s. But since in the question is I have mentioned it as unity feedback system, so that's why our value of h of s is equal to one. So we are we have written only here g of s. Okay, yeah. So 14 into s plus 2 divided by s into s plus 1 into s plus 4. We need to determine. We have again three cases here. We need to determine which type of system this uh, g of s into h of s is. Again, we need to determine the values of k p, k b, and k a. And also we need to determine the error for ramp with input magnitude as four. Okay, so we need to uh, uh, find out the steady state error for ramp signal with input magnitude as four. Okay, yeah. So now let's uh, try to solve this problem. Okay, so first you need to read the question very carefully, and from that we can see that in first uh, case we need to be finding the type of system, right? So now let's see this question here. So, in order to find the type of system, what we need to be considering, we need to be seeing the power of s, right? In the denominator of the first term of s, we need to be seeing its power. Okay? Since we have only s here, so we can say that this is equal to s to the power one. So, when whenever you have s to the power one, we can say that if j, the value of j is equal to one, we can say it as the type of system is type one, right? Yeah. So, for the for the sub question, we have directly got the answer that is type one system. Okay? Yeah. So now let's go to the second sub question. That is, we need to be finding the value of KP, KV, and KA. Before finding the values of KP, KV, and KA, this G of S is into H of S is not in its general form, right? So what is its uh, uh, what it's given as? G of S into H of S is given as 40 into S plus 2 divided by S into S plus 1 into S plus 4, right? But our general, in generally, how we write the g of s into h of s? That is k into one plus t one s into one plus t two s goes on divided by s to the power j into one plus t a s into one plus t b s goes on, right? So this is our general formula. This is our in general we represent g of s into h of s, but it's not in the general form. Okay, so we need to convert this into this type of form. After that, we need to be finding the values of K P, K B, and K. Okay. So now, how to convert? So this G of S and H of S is equal to one. So unity feedback system. I am writing only G of S. So now, 40 remains as it is. So in order to convert this into one plus T one into S, we need to be uh, considering the term the uh, after S that is S plus two we have right. So now this two term we need to be taking outside the bracket. That is 40 into two. Into one plus s by two. Okay, so uh, see if we multiply the two into one plus s by two again, we would be getting the same thing s plus two only. See, two ones are two. Okay, uh, and two into s by two is again two two gets cancelled. Two plus s that is equal to s plus two only. Okay, so that's why whenever we have like this, in order to convert into general form, we need to be taking uh, two outside. Then we need to be writing the expression as one plus s by two. Okay. The same goes with denominator, one and four. Take it outside. S into one into four divided by one plus s by one. That is one plus s only, and one plus s by four. Okay. So now g of s is equal to. So this is four one uh, one four. So four ones are four tens are. So our final expression is ten twos are twenty. So twenty into one plus s by two divided by. S into one plus s into one plus s by four. So in generally, we write the value of g of s as like this, right? 
So now in this case, uh, we can find the values of Kp, Kv and Ka. So now Kp, write the formula for Kp that is limit s tending to 0, g of s into h of s, right? So here we have the expression for g of s into h of s. Now write that expression now. That is Kp is equal to limit s tending to 0, 20 into 1 plus s by 2 divided by s into 1 plus s into 1 plus s by 4 okay so now kp is equal to now substitute the limits that is 20 into 1 plus 0 by 2 is 0 divided by the, this whole term since we have s here so this whole term would be equal to 0 so this would be 20 by 0 anything by 0 is again infinity so our value of kp we are getting it as infinity okay so same goes with kv kv formula is limit s tending to 0 s into g of s into h of s right yeah again the I find the value of kv limit s tending to 0 substitute that is 20 into 1 plus s by 2 divided by s into 1 plus s into 1 plus s by 4 so kv after uh, taking the limit that is 20 into 1 plus 0 by 2 is 0 and uh, no here we have for forgot to multiply s right so we have s into g of s into h of s so that's why this s and s would be getting cancelled right so the remaining term is 1 plus 0 uh, into 1 plus 0 by 4 is 0 so again 20 divided by 1 so our value of kv we are getting it as 20 here okay so same goes with Ka, uh, write the substitute the formula that is limit s tending to 0 s square into g of s into h of s. So again Ka is equal to limit s tending to 0 s square into 20 into 1 plus s by 2 divided by s into 1 plus s into 1 plus s by 4. So this s and uh, uh, one s would be getting cancelled in the numerator so this would be after now take the limits that is 20 into 1 plus 0 by 2 is 0 divided by also we have uh, one s right so this would be again 0 so that is equal to 1 plus 0 into 1 plus s by 4 is again 0 so this whole numerator term is 0 and 0 divided by 1 is again 0 so our value of ka we are getting it as k a is equal to 0 right yeah so here we got the values of kp kv and ka now our third sub question is they have asked us to find the error for ramp with input magnitude 4 so in the question they have given error for ramp okay for, so we know that in case of ramp our steady state error formula is ess is equal to they have also mentioned the input magnitude that is amp, uh, magnitude is given as a a divided by error for ramp okay for ramp we are considering the error coefficient as velocity error coefficient right so this is the expression for ess in case of ramp signal right we have discussed yeah a by kv and also they have mentioned the input magnitude as 4 that is 4 divided by kv kv what we have got 20 right 4 by 20 that is equal to 1 by 5 so our steady state error we are getting it as 1 by 5 yeah so that's all so this is the problem very simple problem if you know all the concepts very clearly about type 0 type 1 type 2 the problems are very very easy in this module okay you can solve it very very easily you need not be worrying about problems in this subject so in this module okay the problems are extremely easy if you know the concept very well okay if you know the formulas very well directly applying the formulas uh, taking the limits and getting the answers are very easy in this module okay just the thing that you need to be having a bit mind of understanding the concepts so th this is one problem we would be solving one more problem of same kind so this is our second question here as you can see 
So the question is find KP, KV, KA similar to the first question. We need to find the, all the three values. For a system with the OLTF that is open loop transfer function as G of S into H of S is given as 10 into S plus 2 into S plus 3 divided by S into S plus 1 into S plus 5 into S plus 4 where input is given as R of T. They have given the value of R of T input as 3 plus T plus T square. Also we need to find the steady state error in this case. Okay. So, yeah. so again this is an easy problem. First step remains the same, convert this G of S into H of H into its standard form. Okay, the given uh, expression I am writing it again S plus 2 into S plus 3 divided by S into S plus 1 into S plus 5 into S plus 4. Okay, so in order to convert it into its standard form, what we need to be doing, I have told you this 2 and 3 we need to be taking outside that is 10 into 2 into 3 into this would be 1, div 1 plus S by 2 into 1 plus s by 3 in the denominator also same thing 1 5 and 4 take it outside so s into 1 into 5 into 4 into 1 plus s into 1 plus s by 5 into 1 plus s by 4 right so again we can cancel few terms that is uh, okay so let's write the simplified version now so 10 into 2 into 3 2 3s are 6 and 6 10s are 60 1 plus s by 2 1 plus s by 3 divided by 4 5s are 20 so 20 s 1 plus s 1 plus s by 5 1 plus s by 4 so this 21s are 23s are so our final expression we are getting it for g of s into h of s is 3 into 1 plus s by 2 into 1 plus s by 3 divided by s into 1 plus s into 1 plus s by 5 into 1 plus s by 4 so in this way we are representing this in general form okay yeah so now let's find the one by one let's find the values of uh, kp kv and ka that is kp the formula is limit as tending to 0 g of s into h of s right so kp is equal to limit as tending to 0 the value of g of s into h of s is 3 into 1 plus s by 2 1 plus s by 3 divided by s into 1 plus s 1 plus s by 5 1 plus s by 4 okay so now after applying the limits what we will be getting 3 into uh, so 0 by 2 is 0, 0 by 3 is 0, 3 into 1 plus 0 it is 1 into 1 divided by 0. So anything divided by 0 is infinity. So our Kp we are getting it as infinity. So now let's find the value of Kv. The formula is limit as tending to 0. S into G of S into H of S. So Kv is equal to limit s tending to 0 s into 3 into 1 plus s by 2 into 1 plus s by 3 divided by s into 1 plus s 1 plus s by 5 1 plus s by 4 so this s as gets cancelled so now let's apply the limits as tending to 0 so 3 into 1 plus 0 and 1, 1 into 1 divided by uh, 1 so our value is 3 okay yeah, so now again same thing let's find the value of Ka. Again substitute the limit as tending to 0. The formula is a square into G of S into H of S. Okay, so Ka is equal to limit as tending to 0. S square into 3 into 1 plus S by 2. 1 plus S by 3 divided by S into 1 plus S. 1 plus s by 5 into 1 plus s by 4 so this s and s would, 1 s would be getting cancelled so k after applying the limits we are getting it as since we have s here so this would be 0 0 into uh, 3 into 1 into 1 divided by 1 so 0 divided by anything is again 0 so here we are getting the value of 0 so our kp we are getting it as infinity kv we are getting it as 3 and Ka we are getting it as 0 
okay so these are the values of kp kv and k but our question is not done yet they have also given the input right and for that we need to be finding the steady state error so now let's solve that as well yeah so here they have given the input right that is r of t is equal to 3 plus t plus t square so in this input we can see that the expression here it, it, this input is a combination of all three uh, signals typical signals which you have discussed that is step signal ramp signal and parabolic signal okay so how it is a, a combination let's see so first let's write the condition that is given input is the combination of step ramp and also parabola so now let's see how it is the combination that is here we can see that in the input first case unit step signal so this is a step signal of amplitude a is equal to 3 okay so here the step signal is mentioned here uh, that is a is equal to 3 so this is the amplitude here okay so that's why this is uh, 3 uh, which has the amplitude 3 also ramp signal amplitude is also given here ramp signal amplitude where a is equal to 1 okay but we know that for ramp signal our expression is what a t right so here in place of uh, a we have 1 so 1 into t so that's why we are getting it as t the coefficient of uh, t is 1 right so 1 into t so same thing we have parabolic input also parabolic signal amplitude here also they have given it as a is equal to 2 how it is 2 2 t square by 2 okay if we uh, if we take the value of uh, a t square by 2 that is a t square by 2 is the general expression of parabola right so in place of a we have 2 so 2 t square by 2 if we cancel these two the expression we are getting it as t square so that only they have written it right t square yeah so in this case this is a, in this way this is the combination of uh, step ramp and parabola so now one by one for step signal first let's calculate the steady state error Okay, for step for step signal, the steady state error is given as a divided by one plus k p, right? Yeah. So a the value of a is mentioned here for step signal that is three divided by one plus the value of k p which we have got just now is infinity. So that is three divided by infinity. So three divided by infinity anything divided by infinity is zero, right? So this is the first steady state error which we are getting for step signal. Okay. Similarly for ramp signal. The second steady state error ESS2 is equal to A divided by KV, right, for ramp, we are considering KV. So, the value of A here for ramp signal is 1 divided by KV, we are getting the value of KV as 3. So, our second steady state error is 1 by 3. Same goes for parabola. So, our third steady state error ESS3 is equal to A divided by KA and the value of A is 2 here for in case of parabola divided by k a just now we have got it as 0 so anything divided by 0 is infinity so these are the values of steady state errors ESS1, ESS2 and ESS3 so in for this particular input the total steady state error is the combination of these three steady state errors that is the final ESS is equal to ESS1 plus ESS2 plus ESS3 so therefore ESS is equal to ESS1 is 0 plus ESS2 is 1 by 3 plus ESS3 is infinity so since we have your infinity so infinity plus anything we are getting infinity only so our final steady state error we are getting it as infinity for the input R of t is equal to 3 plus t plus t square okay so this is your final answer so that's all for this session hope you understood this pro these problems very carefully so try to solve these problems without any reference okay so that's all please like share subscribe and we are going to be coming up with many more videos in this module which are very very interesting 
many more derivations as well in this module so that's all thank you